Here we have a nice P registered Series 3 Land Rover. It's a two and a quarter petrol engine, which is a very bulletproof engine. They're extremely reliable and they last forever. Um, it's a nice Land Rover in that it's been rebuilt onto a galvanised chassis um, prior to us getting it. So I guess other things would have been done at the same time when the body was off the chassis. Um, there you can see on the rear chassis cross member the galvanising um, which is there to protect the chassis um, which Land Rover never put on from new which is why the original chassis do corrode um, I'll try and get under there you can see the chassis under the vehicle you can see the front of a spring um, we'll have a look around this side see the other parts of the body. It's a good straight body on this Land Rover. Um, there are some small bubbles and scratches on the paint but you would expect that for this age of vehicle. It's not a fully restored vehicle but nor is it the uh, price of a fully restored vehicle. Um, I'll just show you the new tyres that are fitted. It's got the correct 600 by 16 tyres which is what the vehicles were designed to have. So the steering and everything works correctly using that tyre. Um, if we go around, you see the bulkhead is sound at the top and at the bottom there. I'll open the door so you can see inside. Um, the door frames are good, good and solid. Um, it's got some nice cloth seats. You see there, we've got some bench seats in the rear. We'll move around to the back, I'll show you the seats. There we can see two side facing bench seats and adequate space um, on the floor for other, other equipment or dogs for example. Again a good frame on the rear door. Um, vehicle's fitted for towing and it's also got um, a step on the back and it's wired up for the trailer socket. Let's see if we can quickly show you anything else. Um, again the top of the bulkhead's good. As is the bottom you'll see there's a bit of bubbling on the paint which I've mentioned previously. All in all quite a nice straight Land Rover that drives and uh, performs as it should. Of course it'll go through our workshop prior to it um, leaving here anyway so we'll check it out and make sure everything works correctly.